Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey the last couple of years and I've lost 60 pounds um, following the starch solution and using the principles of low calorie density. I get to eat gigantic portions of food, delicious food every single day and lose weight effortlessly. I just need to know how to build my plate and what foods are fantastic for weight loss. Um, I want to show you everything I'm eating today um, and I am eating, I'm going to be eating some incredibly delicious stuff. So my kids are here with me today because it is a Saturday and uh, we have a lot of stuff on today. We're going to a birthday party and I want to make some really special stuff for them. So I baked up last night a massive batch of sweet potatoes. So I was thinking about making some amazing sweet potato chocolate brownies for them so that they could take it with them to the birthday party and so they could have something special to eat when everyone else is having cake and stuff. Um, so I think we're going to jump into that straight away. Um, I also really fancied eating some chocolate pudding for breakfast. I'm feeling very naughty. I'm in a naughty mood. I'm in a naughty chocolatey mood. And my kids have also just asked for hot chocolate. <laughs> so it's chocolate everywhere, basically. So I'll show you what we kind of come up with. Um, but I don't, unfortunately, show you recipes on this channel. But I can show you what I eat every single day, day in and day out, to make this way of eating work for me and to make it sustainable. So, for example, my chocolate pudding is not a regular chocolate pudding. I'm going to make it with sweet potatoes. So it's very basic and very simple, but extremely delicious and still very decadent and yummy. So it's just gonna be sweet potatoes, cocoa powder, vanilla extract, and some plant milk. That is gonna make me an incredible chocolate pudding. And I'm not just gonna have that on its own. That would not be a massive volume of food for me. I am a volume eater and I need loads of food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair that with a massive amount of sauteed veggies. Veggies are one of the most incredible foods for weight loss. Obviously, they're the most low in calorie density, high in nutrients, and they're just incredible. You get to eat mountains of food when you stuff loads of veggies into everything. But I'm not just having the veggies, I'm also having my starch, the sweet potato chocolate pudding, and I'm making it very delicious. So I'm very excited. So what I love to do, um, my go-to, my go-to veggies, oh gosh, broccoli down, broccoli down. My go-to veggies are broccoli and courgette and I'm gonna cook that up with soy sauce and garlic and a little bit of tofu because that is so delicious. I would use some beans, but I haven't got any beans at the moment. I'm not very prepared. Usually I have loads on hand, but I don't have, it, have any at the moment. So I'm gonna add a bit of tofu and then tofu is super yummy anyway. So I'm gonna cook that up and then make my chocolate pudding and I'll show you what it looks like when I all put it together. So one of the tools that I have used to lose 60 pounds eating this way is, as you guys I'm sure know, it's just using the principles of low calorie density, which means including loads of low calorie density foods, like fruits and veggies, basically. And a lot of people use the 50-50 plate. Um, now, it is definitely something I kind of go for for the majority of my meals, but a lot of the time I didn't really used to do it for breakfast, um, but I'm actually starting to crave my veggies in the morning, so when I wake up, I actually want a massive amount of veggies. Um, so if you, it's just, could be a really good technique for maybe dropping the last 10 to 15 pounds. If you're not actually including veggies with your breakfast, maybe try getting those veggies in there early in the morning as well as for lunch and dinner. Um, and basically just as many veggies as you can squeeze into your life is gonna be beneficial. Obviously, please make sure not to neglect your starch. That is so important as well. But I have found myself really wanting veggies in the morning. And I do think it's going to be an incredible technique to get you to your leanest place. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. And that's why I'm cooking up a massive batch of veggies in the morning. First thing. Anyway, just making myself a lovely tea. And um, I also wanted to play around with a kind of hot chocolate recipe. Usually I just do it super simple, cocoa powder and some brown sugar. But I wanted to try out like a date version. Um, so I'm going to whack it in my blender. Excuse the babies. <laughs> I'm going to whack it in my blender and see what I can kind of come up with. Okay, so for any of you who have not seen my chocolate pudding, you need to go and make it immediately because it is incredible. Sorry, don't mean to toot my own horn, but actually amazing. That is chocolate pudding and it's so simple, whole foods, low calorie density. Great for your kids, great for everyone. You can literally eat it, any meal. Do you like it, eh? Mmm, do a bite? Oh my god. Mmm, it's so yummy. Um, so, mm, I did only originally do it with two sweet potatoes, but it's so yummy. And these two gut buckets are going to eat loads of it. So I've got two more sweet potatoes, so I'm just whacking it on again. 
um, in the microwave. So I like to warm them up before I blend it up because I feel like it processes better. So anyway, no, 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 no. Um, anyway, I am going to go make a double batch um, because that is clearly not enough. Anyway, uh, but if you haven't tried it, recipes over on Instagram. It is incredible, guys. Mm. Although I'm very naughty because I haven't even eaten my vegetables yet. Naughty Amy. show you what I got for breakfast and I kind of kind of ended up making like three things so let me show you round one so first and foremost I obviously have my non-starchy veggies with my tofu and, and you know what this is so delicious for anyone who says they do not like veggies if you try this and you don't like this I just don't believe you <laughs> mm, but Starting the day with veggies is actually so incredible. And it's also just about getting into the habit of adding more veggies to your plate, adding your veggies to every meal. How can you find a way to get more veggies in there? And these are the habits that you can build that are going to lead to lifelong leanness. Mm. But if you're not getting enough veggies into your day, that's when you want to start. Delicious. Okay. Round two, as you know, is my chocolate pudding, which is absolutely divine. Mm. Then I thought I'd get a little bit creative with the chocolate pudding, and I made chocolate cake out of the chocolate pudding by just adding a few tablespoons of oat flour and some baking powder. And I put the chocolate pudding on the top as like a frosting. And this, guys, that is amazing. Look at the frosting. And it's basically the same ingredients. Mmm. Mmm. So what I was thinking is, if you had a big, if you whipped up a massive batch of this very simple chocolate pudding, and you stuck it in the fridge, firstly you can eat it as chocolate pudding, but secondly, if you ever fancy some cake, get some oat flour, or any flour really, stick it in with some baking powder into the microwave, few minutes, you got yourself a chocolate cake, use some frosting, use some of the pudding as a frosting, and honestly, whole food plant-based cake right there. I mean, I know when sometimes when you search starch solution, uh, microwave mug cake or something, right? It might come up and it's got like white flour, maple syrup, loads of that kind of stuff. Not that that stuff is bad, but this is so much better. This is pure whole foods. And so, the way I eat, I want to eat as much whole food as possible. Um, so this is where it's at for me. Look at that chocolate cake. Oh. Mm. Anyway, I'm actually going to stop eating that. And I'm going to go and stuff my face on these veggies. But look at how much food I get to eat for breakfast. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm super excited. But anyway, I'm going to go and eat this. Mm. And then we're going out to a birthday party at one o'clock. So I need to make the kids some food um, before, to have beforehand or to take. I'm just going to do them some very lovely sushi bowls uh, from the leftover rice from yesterday. And I may or may not have some. Not quite sure. I'll keep you updated. So Abe, do you want to tell us what you're up to? So Abe's got, Abe's got some chocolate pudding. He's taken over my chocolate cake. I had about half of it. Now Abe's having the rest and he's just... <laughs> he's spreading more of the frosting onto the cake and he's are you enjoying it by any chance Abe? Oh, I love what you're doing to it it's so creative <laughs> it's lovely to get your kids involved in healthy eating I and get them really excited about it yeah all over and, and cover it. that's a great idea go for it peanut oh cheeky icing <laughs> mommy's still asleep on me and she's snoring so uh anyway I finished all my veggies, they were very delicious. And I've gotten about that far through my chocolate pudding and I'm pretty full, so I'm gonna stop there. Um, it is getting very messy over here because Abe is dipping pudding into stuff and it's getting like 
a painting, like a piece of art. Anyway, um, that was such a yummy breakfast. I can't believe I get to eat that. Um, yeah, feeling so privileged. But it is interesting. That's a potato meal again, apart from the tofu. So I hadn't really thought about that. But I'm still digging the potatoes. And I was thinking about what I'm going to have for lunch. Everyone else is having sushi. I don't know if I'm feeling up for sushi. I think I'd prefer to have some chips. So, Abe, do you want sushi or, or chips? Sushi. You like a sushi bowl? Yeah. It, they're gonna have sushi bowl, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the chips because I'm just still digging the potatoes. I really have built up some incredible habits over the last couple of weeks, and that is why I, that's what this is for. And uh, I love it, loving it, loving it. So we're just in the car. Hold on a sec. So we're just in the car on the way to soft play. Mad, mad rush. I'm going to eat this uh, bag of this uh, Tupperware of chips on the way. And then I've got some cucumber and some apples. I'll show you later. Hi, yeah. So it is 4.30 and we have been back from, uh, from our party for quite a while now. So I just ate those chips in the car and I had a little piece of brownie as well that I made. Did I show you? Did I show you that I made brownie? I haven't got a clue. Anyway, I made some delicious sweet potato brownie. Uh, recipe is going to be over on Instagram. I'm just going to post that tonight. So if you want to check it out, go and check it out. This one's kind of a naughty version because it's got maple syrup in. So definitely a treat. I just had a little square while I was doing some filming. Um, and I packed some cucumber. Didn't eat it because um, I didn't have it in the car. I should have put it in the car with me with the chips, but I ate the chips. Um, and I also took two apples, which I didn't eat because I was busy with the kids. Anyhow, we're going to be making dinner. And while I make dinner, I'm going to find my cucumber and snack on that cucumber. Um, for dinner, everybody wants noodles. So I've just got um, these noodles for some people. And Abe doesn't like them, so Abe's just going to have it with pasta. I'm not sure if I'm going to have noodles and pasta. I'm making it with a big kind of veggie stir fry with broccoli, carrot and loads of cabbage and stuff. And actually, I feel like I just really want to have that with some boiled or steamed potatoes. I'm just really in the mood for potatoes and noodles are just like, meh, not really feeling them. So I'm going to do myself. Okay, have I even got potatoes actually? Okay, I have a few potatoes left. I'm going to stick basically the rest of these in the instant pot. And then I'm going to do some hash browns tomorrow with them. But tonight I'll just have some lovely steamed potatoes with all my veggies. And mm, am I even... So I'm actually veering off the course of noodles. Um, I am actually just going to whip up a real quick batch of cheese sauce as well. Because I've really fancied some. Um, and then I'm going to have that with my potatoes. So anyway, that's what I fancy. It's funny how I keep on coming back to potato reset meals despite not needing to. Super interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna do that and I will let you know what it looks like at the very end. And also I've got loads of these tomatoes, which I think I really need to start. I mean, I have been eating quite a lot of them. I bought loads of them, but I need to eat more. So I might try and sneak some tomatoes in there somewhere as well, like a little side tomato salad -y thing. Anyway, I'll let you know when I put all that together, but uh, I'm not super hungry. And I'm taking Abe out tonight with my mum and my little sister to go and watch a little play. Uh, just a small queue on uh, while James and Romy stay here. So that'll be really fun. So we are leaving at about seven. So I need to get cracking and I need to go make some food. Okay, so I'll give you a quick a little update as to what I've got going on. So I have got two broccolis, half a purple cabbage and two carrots in here. I was gonna put three broccolis, but they wouldn't fit. So anyway, that's the maximum veggies I've got. I've got my cauliflower boiling up with some sweet corn for the kids in there. That's my cheese sauce. Got some tofu for everyone to have on the side. Put my potatoes in the instant pot. Just here, waiting for my potatoes. Snacking on all this cucumber. This is like three quarters of a massive cucumber. So I'm going to be very full before I even dig into my veggies. Okay, finally food is ready and I'm super excited. So, show you what I've got. It looks pretty basic and simple, but I'm really darn excited about it. Anyway, I've got a massive, huge potato, all those lovely stir-fried veggies. I know I have veggies the same way all the time. And it must look really boring. And you're like, why are you having that every single day, multiple times a day? But it's because I really love it. If I got bored of it, I would mix it up and do some other stuff. But I, this is the kind of stuff that I crave because I really love what I make <laughs> and the way I make it. So anyhow... Then I've got a huge, huge batch of cheese sauce. This stuff is incredible. And what I've been doing is I've nearly finished my cucumbers, which are just there. I've been dipping this in the cheese sauce. So like, mm, 
And that, firstly, is a weird but amazing combination. The second, I was thinking, what a fantastic and tasty way to do some preloading. So, if you didn't want to just eat cucumber and you wanted to spice it up a little bit, get this cheese sauce involved. This is literally a full head of cauliflower and a potato. So, I mean, it's pretty, pretty and fantastic on the preloading front. But just dip the cucumber in there, and it really is very special. I mean, that is mm, really yummy. Um, anyway, I'm just going to drizzle all the cheese sauce on top of this and stuff it in my face. I might have another potato from Hungary. I'll let you know. I'm not super sure. Um, but yeah, that is dinner. And then we are heading out in probably about half an hour or so. So I actually need to hurry up. Anyway. Uh, yep, I'm gonna go by. So we just out at a play and we are at the interval and my mum just bought me some apple pie. So loads of apples and cinnamon and loads of oats at the top. It's kind of like apple crumble, apple pie. And she bought a tea, so I'm just gonna eat this real quick. <laughs> 